Welcome back to the channel, everybody. 33 minute recovery run, just got finished. It's a Friday, it's a beautiful morning. There should be a beautiful sunrise here in just a little bit. Um, woke up at five, did my morning routine. If you've not seen my morning routine, there's a morning routine video. Check it out below or go to my channel. That's the routine I did this morning. Where we're gonna pick up is after the run. We're about to hop in the car, drive back, make some breakfast, take Ranger on a walk. Then I'm gonna take y'all through the rest of my day. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. It really helps me. If you enjoy them, please let me know. Let's go make some breakfast. This is just one whole cup of oats, um, two tablespoons, about two tablespoons of almond butter. Uh, and then that's probably, I would say like a third, fourth of a cup of frozen blueberries. And how I do my blueberries is I get the frozen ones cause they stay fresh longer. And then I'll just thaw them out with hot water and then pour them over. Um, also what we got here is we got two whole eggs and then one fourth a cup of egg whites, which comes out to four tablespoons. So it's actually not too heavy of a breakfast, nothing too big. I'll probably eat again, probably about 10. And I'll show you all what that meal looks like, but I'm gonna go ahead and scarf this now. So it's currently 7.30, just got done eating breakfast. And now we're taking the ranger on his morning walk. Just got back from the walk. Next task on the agenda is to get showered up and get ready for work. ready for work um, I'm not gonna take y'all along into my work with me because it's pretty boring all right guys so right now I'm headed to Duncan lately I have been on something about cold brew all right so I got the cold brew right here it's not as good as usual actually so in my devotion today the verse was Genesis 126 and so it says then God said let us make mankind in our image and our likeness so that they may rule over over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky over the livestock and all the wild animals and over all the creatures that move along the ground there wasn't a lot of clarity on who God is until Jesus came and it's talking about how we have a blueprint of what God is like because God was here on earth and Jesus Okay, it's 10.35, so we're gonna go in the kitchen and make our second meal for the day. So right here we got our white rice that I'm gonna heat up, and then shrimp soup is on the stove, getting heated up. So what I like to season my shrimp soup with is, I'll put some salt in there, a little bit of pepper, Old Bay seasoning, and then some Tony's. All right, guys, it's almost 1.30, so that means it's time for another meal. This is going to be meal three today. It is going to be the leftovers from last night, which is like a Chipotle type of bowl of grilled chicken. So I'll show you all what's in there. All right, so what we got here is a little bit of grilled chicken. It's been marinated, some jasmine rice with some cilantro and lime, and then just black beans. What we're also going to do is we're going to put some lettuce on there, some cheese, just a little bit and then a little bit of this avocado that's left from last night and that'll be the third meal for the day it is 4 28 right now i figured that i would already be done working for today but some people are still needing to check out so 
what I'm going to do now is since the workout got pushed back a little bit, I figured that I'd already be on my way to the gym right now. So I'm going to make a little pre-workout snack. So that's just one blueberry bagel. It's just a Thomas bagel. It's not like a protein bagel or anything like that. And then a little bit of honey pecan cream cheese on it. So that's what I'll be having as my pre pool day fuel. All right guys, I finally got done with work. The last students I need to check out. So it's 521 right now about to mix up my pre-workout. So what pre-workout I'm gonna be taking for this, it's a little bit later than I would like to take caffeine, but I have a two hour run that was scheduled for tomorrow, but I'm moving it to Sunday. I'm gonna start doing my long runs on Sunday anyways, because that is the, the marathon's gonna be on. So I need to get in the habit of that. Be taking this superhuman burn from Alpha Lion. It is cherry popper, which is sweet black cherry. So it's a two in one fat burning. This is their fat burning pre. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix this up right now and I'm gonna drink it on the way to the gym so I can save some time and just get into my warm up when I get there. It's really good. All their flavors, I don't know what flavor to choose now. I still haven't bought any Alpha Line like canisters of pre workout because I was waiting to try all the flavors that I got in sample packages. And I really can't decide on a flavor. There hasn't been one that I like, have not liked. They're all really good. Uh, also, you can use my code QUADZILLA to get 10% off and support me. So go get yourself some pre-workout. They have regular pre-workout pump, which is stem free, burn. But everything that I've had, all of them have tasted amazing, every flavor, so. And they work great. But um, we're gonna head to the gym now. It's a pool day and I'm excited. All right guys, we're on the way to the gym. Uh, another thing that I was gonna tell y'all is, so I've been recording on a GoPro. It's a GoPro Hero 8. And when the video quality changes, it's usually because I'm using my phone. So like when I walked Ranger this morning, I used my phone for the video. Let me know your recommendations of what type of camera I should get for vlogging that would be good for this type of content because the GoPro does amazing outside. It's one of the best for outside and for action sports and everything like that. But when it comes to being like in a gym and like inside and creating content like this, this lifestyle gym fitness content, it's really not the best quality. So I'm debating right now during this workout, I might try it for a few clips using my phone to video and record. But the only thing I don't like about that is then I don't have any music because my phone is recording. So I'm kind of in a dilemma for this workout, but soon I'm trying to get a new, a new camera to start uploading these videos. So if you have any recommendations, please, please comment below. All right, guys, we are back in the go-to gym and this is the fit that we're rocking with today. So this will come off pretty quick just because I don't want to get it dirty. But I got these Gymshark joggers on. I got these Vans that are really old, but I usually don't wear pants. It's like super hot in here, but I don't know. I was just feeling like pants today. I got my plate carrier today. So this is like, I think 25, 35 pounds that I'm gonna use for chin-ups. Put the workout in the description once again in case you want to try it out. So this is a full pool day. It's back and biceps focus. Let's get into it. What we're going to right now is bent rows. It's gonna be four sets of six to eight reps, pretty heavy. No superset on this. After this set, we will get into supersets. So the 
for the last three sets, I'm gonna do 185, and I'm gonna try to hit six for those three sets. Heavy reps, quality reps. We're dropping the weight. So I took off the 25s and I put on a 10 and a five. That was just way too bad. Like there's a point where you lift heavy and you sacrifice a little bit of form, but there's a point when like your form is too bad. Like there's no point, you're not getting anything out of it. So also, yeah, that's how rusty these bars are. That's why I don't like wearing my, my nice clothes when I'm in here, but I like my nice clothes. I'm not gonna count my first set, so I'm gonna do one more set on this, and we're gonna move on to supersets. Supersets T-bar row, and then we're gonna be doing dumbbell bent over alternating row. So I'll show you what that looks like. We don't have super heavy dumbbells, so we're not gonna do single arm row, just bent over. We're gonna do like free standing bent over dumbbell alternating rows. Really work on your core, your lower back strength as well. So let's get into this superset. Those bent over rows, dumbbell, alternating, those will get you, don't, don't be fooled. Try to keep your core tight. They feel pretty easy at first, once you start getting some reps in. So I'm doing right now, that was just six on each side. And then for the T-bar rows, I'm doing eight. So that's gonna be four sets total, super set. Um, we still have two super sets left after this one, and we have one finisher that I'm gonna do for my lower back. Hope y'all are enjoying the workout. You don't need a lot. I mean, this gym doesn't have a lot. I call this gym the dungeon. It's literally like dumbbells that barely go up to 50, 65 that are bent, and then some racks and plates and barbells. You got some boxes and stuff, but there's no machines or anything like that. Um, mastering free weights is really good for you too. Start out light, even if you can't do a lot. Start out with really light free weights. It's a lot better for your stability, your core balance, flexibility, everything. Because you're actually having to control that weight instead of just pushing really hard on a machine. Okay, so I just did my last set with T-bar rows and dumbbell alternating bent over rows, uh, barefoot or in socks. And I actually really liked it. I've never been one to train like barefoot or without shoes on. Uh, I just think it's kind of dangerous if you ask me, especially with a lot of metal, big metal objects lying around and can fall on things. But I, I really like that. Probably gonna start doing that a little bit more. Not all the time, but on some stuff. Just, there's a lot of muscles in your feet too that when you put them in a shoe, they don't really have to work as hard. So taking them out of that shoe and putting them in an environment where they're actually having to stabilize while you're doing exercises helps your feet, especially when you're running as much as I am. So our next superset, second to last superset, is gonna be dumbbell curls alternating. So with these, I'm just gonna go here, neutral grip, because what I'm supersetting it with is barbell creature curls. So I'm gonna use one of these benches, the back of it, and I'm just gonna lay my arms over there, I'm gonna get the barbell, and I'm just gonna do creature curls. Make a makeshift creature curl, because there's not like a setup for that in here. But that's what we're doing. It's probably gonna be eight reps each arm here, and then six to eight reps here, four sets.
as you could see, it was kind of a pretty sketchy setup with the bench. And then I got a little seat uh, that I just rigged up. Hey, you gotta work with what you got. I put the weight on there, it was too heavy. And I was like, yeah, we gotta drop this. I gotta focus on my form. Preacher curls is one exercise that I'm not very good at, at all. So I'm gonna try to get better at it. I just don't have very good biceps. Uh, I have really good triceps. If you wanna do some tricep exercises, dips, but my biceps kind of suffer a little bit. Okay, I am drenched. Like, sweating profusely. There's not a thermostat in here. But I'm pretty sure the air is off in the entire building, so it's like really hot. Uh, next, what we're going to do, we just finished that superset. We're going to do incline bench dumbbell curls, eight reps, and then we are going to do chin-ups that will be weighted. That's why I brought my weight vest today. So I'll be wearing the weight vest on them. It's four sets total. I'm going to try to get, I want to get eight on chin-ups but we'll see i mean i've burned out my biceps pretty bad so we'll see about that reps and really focusing on the contraction of the top because those handles swivel and so as I'm coming down it's not natural for your arm to be like this supinated your hand supinated at this length it naturally wants to turn this way so for me to keep that I'm not gonna get a full extension so I'm gonna come down neutral and then pull up almost like a reverse of an Arnold shoulder press Hey, and don't judge these until you try them. They're actually a lot harder than you think. You get a really good burn in your lower back. All right, that's gonna be it for the workout. Like I said, it's gonna be in the description below. Uh, I keep on forgetting I'm recording this video is kind of sort of a day in the life of a higher athlete, so running and strength training. Next one I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna do a little bit of flexing, a little bit of posing and record that. After that, I'm going to probably go home, shower. I'm gonna bring y'all along so that y'all can see what a typical, like, not typical Friday night, but what this Friday night's gonna look like for me. So we made it back to the apartment. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna mix up a protein shake real quick. What I'm gonna be mixing up, I'll show you guys, is I'm just gonna do probably milk. Honestly, I'm gonna do milk. Uh, you can use water too. And I'm gonna do one scoop of this Gold's, uh, gold, or not Gold's, Gold Standard Whey from Optimum Nutrition. Ranger, we got the range, now we're headed back to the apartment. All right, so we're back at the apartment. I just fed Ranger his food and gave him some water. It is currently around 8, 10 p.m. And I'm probably not gonna end up eating after I end up making this until like 
after 8.30, which is pretty rare for me. I usually eat like seven-ish at the latest. I don't like eating really late right before I go to bed. So, so we're gonna go ahead and make this pizza and I'll show y'all what it looks like. Okay, so here's our ingredients. It's pretty simple. We got pineapple. Pineapple goes on pizza. And then we got Canadian bacon. We got some mozzarella cheese. Uh, this Raos, or however you pronounce that, homemade marinara. This is the best. And then uh, some pizza crust. So this pizza is going to be my fourth meal today. I'm probably not going to eat this entire pizza. I'll probably only eat two thirds of it and save the rest. Other than the bagel and the protein shake, this would be my fourth meal. Uh, it's pretty typical. I try to eat more than three meals a day, smaller meals, uh, especially during marathon prep. I'm trying to get as many calories in as I can, not just gorging myself to where I feel sick, but if I'm hungry, I need to eat. Uh, I try not to get to where I'm hungry. That's probably gonna be it for the video guys. It's like getting close to 9. It's 8 41 right now I try to, I want to try to be in bed by 10 Usually I want to be asleep by 9 30 or 10 during the week because I'm getting up so early running But it's Friday night and I had a lot going on today And I'm not doing the two-hour run tomorrow. I'm doing it Sunday morning. Please like comment subscribe and get after it I will catch you in the next video